what's up welcome to my channel my name is nicole if you don't know if you're not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe um yeah so today we're doing a story time because everyone loves story time i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna give it a shot i i don't know if i'm gonna be like good at it i forget lots of details <laughs> but yeah Let's just get into it okay so this story time is before you know what we're going through right now happened so it's like a few months um maybe early march yes early march 2020 you know um so if you've noticed my hair is back to being dark yay um so originally backstory when i did have my hair like lighter it wasn't supposed to be the color it was it was still supposed to be dark my original color is black and brown so i had brown like chocolate brown spots so i wanted to pop a little bit more so i figured okay let them put little highlights here and there of chocolate brown the first person that i went to <clears throat> She did a good job, no hating or anything, because I did like the outcome, but it's not what I wanted. <laughs> it's really not what I wanted. Um, I did tell her description, I showed her a picture and everything, and she said, okay, cool. Um, I think she made some parts of my hair, like, over-process a little bit too more when she was, like, lightening it. So I had, like, different colors, like, it was, like, blonde, and I said, I want no blonde none um yeah it had blonde it had chocolate brown it had, it had different colors you know <laughs> but i worked with it all right so that's that now the real story that happened early march so let's see okay how does the light look over here your girl i need to stand sit down or something whatever I don't, know. I don't know maybe I need to clean my lens look at me like workout okay okay <laughs> all right so Basically, the story is I went to go touch up my hair, and normally, you know, I would just, like, touch up the roots or whatnot. So, I went in this time. Oh, no, no, no. Backstory. So, I hit up my hairstylist, and she said she, you know, basically, she wasn't available. So, at that point, I thought she still worked at the salon that I met her at. But she didn't, even though, disclaimer, she or the company did update and say that there were changes or something like that. Okay. So, she said she wasn't going to be there. You know, she can't do that day. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, I guess because she, you know, she's not a hater or anything. We don't like those. So, she didn't say oh no wait until i'm there or something no no she's not gonna do that she's not that type of person she, my hair cells is bomb but back to the story so when i call they say yes yeah, she's not she's not gonna be available but they didn't say that she doesn't work there at all yeah yeah you heard right they did not say that okay cool so i've been there three times previously and I've had another person do my hair and she was cool but I just didn't like how she did my hair like I don't put heat on my hair right now I just came out of the shower my hair is damp it's, it air dries and if I do diffuse my hair I keep it on a low setting and I keep my hand on the cool shot so yeah, I, I don't like heat. That's why I don't really straighten my hair anymore. I don't like sitting underneath it. I don't like that. Anyway. 
So, I went in. I was there with my child. And you know kids, they get bored after a while. Well, not him, because he had my phone the whole time. <laughs> so, did my hair, and number two red flag. When I went in, I asked, I said, yeah, chocolate, brown, you know, same color. I just want it to be one color. I don't want all these other colors. I'm just coming up for a touch up because it's getting light again. So I need to darken it up. So she's like, okay, cool. And I said, I also want Oplex. Oplex is um, like a treatment that works from the inside out. So it helps your hair like not break and stuff like that, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a professional, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> I asked for that. And what else? So she puts in the hair dye. And I said I wanted a permanent, but she put a rinse. So she puts it in. And then when I'm sitting there while it's processing, I feel it tingling like right here. And I've never felt a tingle ever. So I got someone's attention. I said, hey, um, there's a tingle right here. I never had that before. So, you know, she took some water. She wiped it off. She did what she did. It was all better. Okay. Now, after I came, after that was done, then another person um, washed my hair. And that same person finished up my hair and said the person I was assigned to. Um, and they diffused my hair, which I'm not... The type of person try to tell a per someone what how to do their job so i was like it's a one-time thing i didn't really you know i didn't really get upset that she didn't ask me like how do you because normally they ask you they're like how do you do your hair normally and they didn't ask me that because they would have known that i wouldn't like don't put heat on my hair Please don't put any heat on my hair or ask me or keep it on low setting something. But that wasn't the case. They didn't ask me. They did not ask me. And I think she had on high heat. That was the thing. It wasn't the fact that she diffused my hair. It was the fact that she didn't need to ask me how do I do my hair. So she would know, like, okay, if I'm going to diffuse her hair still, let me not do it that long or let me not turn it up. She was diffusing my hair, and then I was kind of antsy because I don't like heat and stuff. But, you know, it's a one-time thing when you get your hair did and whatever, you know? So, I wasn't, it wasn't really bothering me until, like, it smelled how my hair smells when you're straightening your hair. I do not like that smell. That gives me an indication that I just heat damaged my hair. And if you go to my old videos or my pictures on instagram you see how long my hair was until i kind of cut it so i'm trying to grow it back now i'm trying to stop playing scissor hand okay now i had to get my ends clipped and stuff because she deep fried my hair <laughs> when i went home i looked in the mirror because i was in a rush i had to get something to eat plus i had to get something for the child to eat you know so you can't really like examine your hair and everything so I paid and when I came home I noticed like it was just like dry like this is you see that it was dry and trashy it was um it was coarse and my hair my hair is like really thin okay so I was kind of I was kind of pissed and I wasn't gonna do anything about it that's the mistake that we all kind of make but my hairstylist, she advised me. She was like, no, let them know about it. One second. Okay, so. What was I saying? Turn this off. So rude. Um, so yeah, she advised me. She was like, oh, just reach out to them or whatever. Because, you know, 
when she was working there, it was different management, and that management put their customers first. You know, they didn't really care about money and stuff like that. They cared about quality and reputation. So, I read them back, and I wrote to the wrong email at first. And then when I went on their website again, I found the right email. So, I forwarded the original email so they could see, oh, she previously tried to reach out to us. Right? So when they finally responded to me, they didn't want to give me my refund. Like, you fried someone here. Someone's here. This is not like, oh, um, this, this shirt, it has a hole in it. Oh, let me just exchange that for you. Oh, you forgot my side from my combo. Let me, let me add your combo for you. I'm so sorry. Oh, you didn't like your meal? Let me, let me bring out something else. Maybe you'll like that pro bono. No, they told me that they didn't, they wasn't going to give me back my money. And the worst part about it is that they was like, oh, you have to come in. Um, you have to come in so that we could examine the hair and then we'll have the same person the person that jacked up your hair like why would i want to go to the same person that fucked up my hair why that what so child so i wrote back to them and i said i'm perfectly fine with coming in i could come in on a saturday but in no form will or does it make sense for someone to damage my hair and for that same person to then come back in my hair to correct it. If you could not do it right the first time, this is hair. I don't wear weaves. I don't wear wigs. I'm not that girl. I don't even know what to do with a wig if I was to get one. <laughs> okay? So, me having my hair, like, look how this looks, right? And this is it trying to recuperate still, because it still looks like there's, like, kind of limp pieces. Like, my hair is kind of like a wavy type of texture, but at the ends, it, like, spiral curls as it dries. And this is still, like, kind of limp, but... So, I did not end up going back. Um, after I told my hairstylist like what they responded with, she was appalled. She was like, what? You want me to come back in and you not give me my money back? And you want the same person that deep fried my hair to go fix it? No. She said, listen, come here, boo-boo chow. We're going to fix this for you ASAP. And she's such a sweetheart. My whole plan, I think she knew my plan. My plan, because she, like, she had to do a whole service. She had to do a whole service over that day messed up. Right? So, she wouldn't let me tip her. I wanted to tip her, but I think she knew that I would try to tip her what the cost of the hair hair is going to be so she had to color my hair actually color it oh and did i tell you when they colored my hair it was like i never went in to get my hair colored professionally it looked the same way that it looked when i walked through those doors and i paid like 200 and change did i pay 200 and change i think it's 200 or 100 and change i don't know Regardless, that's hard earned money. Money's money. If you go in to get a service done, you should not in any form <laughs> go in to get your hair colored and your hair looks the same exact way you walked in that door. Plus worse, because now you got trashy ass ends. So I went to my hair stylist, the real one, and 
she did my color and she clipped my ends and she treated it so thank god for her if you're in florida and the boca west palm broward area i will drop her information below she is a sweetheart she knows what she's doing unlike some people and she actually interacts with you to find out your likes and dislikes so with me when i went to her they knew that i don't like heat so she she um diffused my hair but not where it's like you could smell like it's burning like if i wanted my hair to smell like that i would have just drank my hair come on like <laughs> so they did it on a cool shot like i normally do where it's either warm or it's like lukewarm type of air coming but yes that is the end of my story um if i remember more <laughs> i will add more but thank goodness for her she fixed my hair and i will have her information in the bio so if you're in florida and you are in broward west palm boca she will get you right and she's not like yo know, she is not like some of those people that work in like the posh kind of upscale salons where they ask you like two questions and then that's it she has whole conversation with you the whole time so you're not gonna sit there on your phone like oh my god <laughs> but yes that's our first story time it's nothing really juicy or anything but you know people nowadays have forgotten customer service and it's sad to say no the customer to me in my eyes is not always right but as a business owner if you have messed up in any which way and a customer voices it and basically you wouldn't want your hair to be deep fried or look as if you never had it done um you should kind of you know care because that's your reputation online just saying but that's the end of my story time thank you for listening and once again if you are new here please like comment and subscribe and repost it all over let your friends know your grandma know you know let everybody know like sis what's up let's be friends well we are friends that's what we doing all right see you guys later